Everybody, thank you for being here, and welcome back to Benton, the little city that could, from humble beginnings on our small peninsula, it will grow across the uh, the width and breadth of the Beltway. That is the plan. To anyone who says otherwise, I say, I say no. I say this city will continue growing and we will get many episodes. To all the, to all the detractors out there, to all the, the Benton haters, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Everyone, thank you for being here. Let's grow the city. So right up front, I want to acknowledge a lot of, uh, I heard a lot of concern about Little House in the last episode. And Little House is still there. This is totally the same Little House. It is, uh, it was not rebuilt. Uh, I did not destroy it. This is the same one, and we're going to track its journey the whole time from beginning to end. That So Little House uh, for life, basically. Was that the right Little House? Pretty sure that was Little House. I'm pretty sure that was the location of of Little House, and Little House lives on. So anyway, what I'd like to focus on today is expanding the road network in an effort to get more residential and commercial into the city. And I'd like to start by using, I've got this other network. It's a four lane avenue with trees with no parking from the vanilla plus pack in the Steam Workshop. And it looks like this. So it'll be a little bit cleaner as a primary avenue rolling through the city. At least, at least to there. I may allow it to change to the, uh, to the more... Ah, no, never mind. Let's actually fix it up. I'll have to redo this with Traffic Manager, but, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to that later. But I think that looks nicer already. I'll end up replacing all of the major roads with that. But here, or at least all of the major ride, wide roads. I have this idea, though. I'd like to have kind of a... Not a highway per se, but something of a, a major route coming down this way. It's probably going to have its own highway interchange, but let's let's start by establishing this this route, I suppose. I'm just going to start it off of this. <laughs> it's got to start somewhere, so I'll start it off of that. Um, it's going to go down to here, and I, I would love for this road to connect to it directly. And I'm gonna ignore the the tattered parts of the shoreline for this. I'm just gonna not worry about that that detail there, and that's fine. I'm gonna connect this, and that'll mark the end point of that. Oh, I also uh, after the the first episode aired, a lot of you were concerned that I that I have tree anarchy turned on, and and the trees will go away automatically. Just so you know, the only way to make the trees actually go away from your save file is to go in and delete them. So I would recommend uh, n not allowing the trees to, to go undeleted because they are they are taking up space in your save. They are, I promise, not making it up. So manually deleting them or using move it to delete them is a fine option too. What I'll probably do for this area here I'm just doing the same thing we did up here. This road will continue on and terminate at the shore, probably becoming a bridge eventually. I think that this will be a major bridge connecting these two areas. But what I really recommend doing with the trees is actually deleting them with purpose, right? So use move it if you want to select them. Use the uh, forest brush or just a tree brush and hold right click and that's fine. I might actually even be so bold as to use move it to remove them entirely from this area. Because the trees that I want, I'm going to end up putting back in. I'm quite sure. I'll put them back in manually when the time comes. But yeah, just building roads over trees does not make the trees go away. You can't see them, but they're still in the save file. So um, on that front, I'm, I'm well aware, I promise. For some reason, this one thinks it's a building. A bunch of these actually think that they're buildings, and the way to remove them, once again, is move it. Select them as a building. Not sure why that is. Maybe I'll try to respect this rock, and that'll become a landmark. Just maybe. 
But yeah, you can see what's going on here. We're sketching the shoreline, going down the way. I'm gonna use freeform road tool to kind of make this curve happen. I would like to respect the curve if possible. Actually, let's get our destination first. I see a bit of straight road happening along here probably. And I bet that these roads connect before that turns into a bridge. That should produce a very nice curve, I think. So now curve road tool. Do I have a road guideline? Can I get a guideline? Yes. And that should be 180 on the left side. Beautiful, okay. So I'm just kind of sketching the island, similar to what we did up here. I'm not worried about the little minutia of it. I'm just kind of sketching the general shape that roads might take here. Now let's assume that this connects also. I should really leave the game unpaused because we are banking thir almost 3,500 simoleons <laughs> as long as I leave the game unpaused. And while I'm here, I might as well just... I, I want to be careful with the brush because these are all hand-placed trees that I've put in and I'd rather not influence those. Looking good. I'm going to upgrade the rest of these roads to the to the tree version because I think it'll look a little bit nicer, the avenue with trees, and uh, then we'll see what kind of zoning we can get in here. I think it would be good to start by getting a couple connections going here. So let's uh, expand our road network. I may swap out the vanilla road for the, the vanilla two-lane road for these suburban two-lane roads that I've been using because they look a little nicer, but for now I'm just going to sketch out in, uh, in vanilla. Dude, that looks good. I'm trying to find the the more major routes and have them continue to the end. Like this is a fairly major route, so I'm gonna let this angle off of that and continue right to the end. Or I could make an effort to make it look like it's 90 degrees, but I'm not really sure. Ah, here, actually, let's do it. Let's just let's go for the 90 there. I'll allow that one to do what it's doing. Uh, this one probably deserves to have a, a through connection as well. We'll let this one be 90 off of that, that other... This is like a minor major road. This one goes for a very long way, very straight, though it may have too many connections through here. Or that might be fine. I'm okay going back later and kind of modifying things if I, if I make a mistake. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. What if... In order to further subdivide this area that's probably going to become residential, let's make some connections here. So maybe right in the center of this, 44, so about 22. Yeah, that could be nice. Very good, very clean. And maybe this one even continues down. It do, it do go down. Nice. These two probably connect to that, so I'm, I'm continuing my logic with these streets. These are some fairly major looking, looking passages here, because they connect directly to this other neighborhood, and also the arterial there, so that's okay with me. And perhaps these connections continue on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just, if, if I made a mistake, I'll amend it later, but I think that continuing that grid is the right move. Let's let this one happen also. The grid's a bit funky, but I've, I've I gotta get over it. <laughs> gotta get over the funky grid. Let it go. I'd really rather not make another connection in the arterial. There's always a lot, there's, there's a whole bunch of them happening anyway. So maybe these are also horizontal. Perfect. Perfect for my purposes. Let's leave this one empty for now just to see what happens. And let's see if we can't find where this would connect naturally. Somewhat. Because if this one goes straight up, uh, it's not terrible, actually. I could live with that. This street is quickly becoming another major, major throughway here with a lot of connections.
but I think that's okay. I think traffic will be drawn. Traffic coming from this direction will be drawn to these larger roads due to the uh, change in speed limit. So I think that's okay. Let's do something like that. Let's like split the difference and have this go up through the middle. Just about there. And we'll continue it up to the top. Nice, 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 nice. This is good. These will end up being cut in half somehow, or downsized, or maybe not. Maybe maybe larger industrial elements can end up going there. But regardless, I think we've got enough to, to start zoning in some residential in the meantime. I'm going to use the, the brush tool, actually, because some of these are a little bit sketchy. I'd rather brush them in anyway. It's more fun. Looking good. And commercial along the old uh, arterial here. Once again, fulfill the Strode prophecy. Embrace the Strode. Just go with it. It's fine. These roads are actually not that big, really. It's not, it's not a, like, it's okay. It's going to work out. Oh. That's alarming. I have no explanation for that, whatever whatever that shadow was, that was unique and interesting and also alarming. Oh, we'll see if that comes into play later if the, or if that causes problems. I have no idea what, what is uh, causing that. <laughs> All right, more residential along, along the way here. So maybe we do this and commercial along here and residential along the the back of this, next to our college. There we go, the fill tool is probably gonna be the way to go. Oh, and I'm playing with pipes. Oh boy. I forgot I was playing with pipes. A lot of people are really keen on putting the pipes below the roads too, and I'm, and from like a game mechanic standpoint, I'm um, disinterested, <laughs> I guess. It seems like a waste of network, um, of networks, period. The game is actually always counting networks, and if you hit the network limit, then you cannot build anymore. So networks are not just uh, roads, they are pipes and paths and fences and all sorts of little things. And eventually, if the city gets big enough and I have to turn off the network limit, or uh, rather, if I have to respect the network limit, the pipes will be the first thing to go, I, I kid you not. The pipe pipe game is not um, oh big town hello on a lighter note um, we don't like the pipes so much but big town is really cool 5500 population um, so we've unlocked campus areas which is great as if we don't already have one but more importantly we've unlocked the zoning which I did not have access to in the first round so high density zoning in residential commercial and office as well so I might use a mix of offices and commercial to buffer our industrial zone. There was more to it. What else did I just unlock? Oh, okay. Policies, zonings, paths, other assorted elements of transit. Awesome. Uh, I haven't actually checked what issues our city has just yet. So as this grows in, let's check our city vitals and see what happens. Electricity is on the brink. And I also think that I've already boosted electricity, so I'll need to find a, an electricity solution in a moment here. Maybe we'll invest a bit of a bit of uh, cash. We have 120,000 right now, so plenty of cash. Water and sewage is good. I beefed that up in between episodes, I think. At, after filming the last one, I think I added a second pipe, foreseeing that I was going to have problems. Um, these will probably end up moving away. I don't really have a solution to, to that just yet. We may build a, pr a proper water treatment facility at some point. Garbage processing is in the tubes right now. So actually it, it might be a good idea to check that first, unless there's something more pressing. Fire hazard could be better. Crime rate is quite low, but jails are a slight problem. And our high school availability has just dipped. So I would say residential is, is fine for now. So let's look at our garbage processing. Incineration plant. Do we already have an incineration plant? We don't. 
So logically, this is like the, the solution to our processing dilemma. As far as the location that I want it to go, I certainly don't want it to go any closer to our non-industrial areas. This is our like sectioned off industrial section. If it can fit on the highway without anarchy. Oh, it can. Uh, I don't necessarily want to do that because then that's kind of awkward. Up there looks good, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Once again, no anarchy, so I know where to put it. There we go. That will be fine. So that's going to help our trash coverage and further help our processing. I'll probably try to get away from the landfills entirely at some point and just go for tra trash solutions that can process. Or maybe the Sunset Harbor. I've never properly used this, I don't suppose. The Sunset Harbor uh, waste processing stuff. We get these at 15,000. It kind of adds a supply chain to the whole operation. So let's see how that influence things. Garbage processing status. We are still behind, but I think I think we'll be okay. Especially once I if I add another one of these and and uh, delete the the dump there. Do, do, do. Oh, high school as well. So checking our schools. Elementary school is okay for now. High school is has dipped slightly. So perhaps this area is where the second high school may go. So maybe this is kind of a district. And then this will sort of be its own high school district. Uh, let's assume... Let's assume that some of these continue down, actually. Not all of them, but maybe some of them. Or at least one of them is certainly going to connect to this road here. That road can't go forever without, without being connected. So let's do this. Let's treat these as kind of more major elements here. Because, as I said before, these go all the way across. good to me and then let's put let's uh make a road that's off of this road a little bit so maybe it's 10 11 units away 10 is probably fine and it probably continues down and connects those two roads i like that a lot and then these can continue without having to hit this road so many times limiting the number of connections to a given arterial or collector or whatever the hierarchy may dictate becomes an important thing. And now I see this. This is what's going to happen. Nice. I think that's pretty clean, actually. Pretty clean. This one is going to go through. I think that'll be a useful connection so that not all of the vehicles have to bog these two roads down. I think it'll be smart to have another, another way across here. Um, oh yeah, the high school, though. I had to build roads to build the, the high school. Uh, student capacity of a thousand. Very vanilla, very nice. Oh, I must have turned collision off, I guess. Yeah, I do want collision on because I want to see if I'm placing a building on top of another building in a way that's going to end up eliminating it. So the first high school is over here. For efficiency, I'll put this far enough away that it'll stop people from walking across the road there, so... Central to this area must be maybe here, actually, so it has good connectivity. Yes. Very nice, very nice. This place could also probably use a second police station at some point. Cool. I'm going to put it on three speed right now and see what, see what happens with our zoning. I do see that commercial is out of control. So I said earlier, oh, we have high density zoning too. Oh, geez. I was hoping to reserve high density for mainly the lower area, as if as if the more central spots developed larger. Or we could start doing high density elsewhere. Wow, I'm I'm so uncertain about that. Let's just assume that low density reigns for this little area here. And we can do I did build a college. So maybe there's a few offices up by our, up by our, uh, like administrative buildings next to the industrial area. And we'll let these grow in. I don't think we have enough graduates to fulfill the need. Or, ooh, better yet, here, skip that. Let's, let's actually encircle this 
with commercial, and then we can do whatever we want with the rest. So let's do commercial for now, as there's no industrial demand. Let's encircle this to separate it from the from our residential area. Because we're going to shift to a less industrial approach for this area. Like, that's probably enough industry to run this entire section, for now at least. And even across this would be fine. That also gives the people who are at work someplace to shop. And uh, it's not that uncommon, actually, to have an industrial area with, with businesses within the industrial area. Like, consumer-facing businesses. It can totally happen. All right, residential demand is going up again. Let's let's get these going. Let's uh Well, this is going to be commercial. Do I break this up? I think I shall. I think it would be a smart idea to break this up. And an even smarter and better idea while breaking this up would be to add paths potentially. Let's see how this looks. The furthest left I can go, the, the better. Just about there. It's midway for most of it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a connection there. That's fine. I think they're spaced out well enough. And it looks pretty good, too. So that breaks up those giant blocks a little bit to uh, hopefully increase walkability. This is all residential. I'm going to check our service meter again in just a second, but the residential demand is skyrocketing. And hopefully our education pipeline continues working because periodically we'll get not enough educated workers. In this case, it's looking for highly educated, so it's waiting for the college to actually produce some... Uh, produce some results, which should happen shortly. Okay. Continuing the trend here. Here, I'll do it just for fun. I'll do it under the road. Look at me go. I should, uh, I should do 22 or 23 units we'll cover. I think 23 units is perfect, though this doesn't have to be perfect. I literally just want the pipes to be functional. I cannot stress enough how this is not part of the aesthetic of the city. It is underground. I suppose underground, like a metro network, I would want the metro to be somewhat beautiful, but pipes I just don't include in that. The the design, the design game included with the pipes is so. Um, I've heard it called chores. Actually, chores seems to be an apt description, and I share that same sentiment when it comes to to pipes and electricity to a lesser extent. Extent. I just try to have the buildings close enough that they can, that the power grid can transfer. Uh, from building to building, as it does. Okay, so we are having slight industrial demand, and I'm going to subvert that by doing an office. The first office building is always a bit of a trick, in my opinion, because they generally don't work initially. <laughs> as in, there's generally not enough... Uh, there's not enough educated workforce in the city to sustain an office, but I'm going to chuck one in there and we'll pretend it's an administrative building for the for the industrial area and we'll, we'll start with that at least. So I am seeing the commercial demand is still quite high, so let's assume let's assume that this is a good idea. It might not be, but let's let's assume that this is where we're headed. I do assume that these roads will continue, so I'm just going to leave them open so we don't destroy any leveled up buildings unnecessarily. I'm not a monster. I would never destroy Little House. I would never destroy the same the same Little House from the beginning. It's been the same one this whole time. No one can really uh, say otherwise with any amount of certainty. <laughs> so, so power is failing as we talk about power. Um, let's do... How much does this one cost? $90,000 and we won't have to worry about power for an indefinite period of time. I'm thinking that this little alleyway here would be perfect for a solar updraft tower. Meaning, at least in game, it's going to keep it away from our residential areas. So I'm going to do this 
in hopes that that power settles down and we don't have to worry about it for a very long time. I'm even going to put this to 100%, though this may negatively impact the budget. We'll see in a second if the if the budget gets gets wiped out. So electricity is good, water and sewage is fine for now. Garbage processing is still behind, but that's not that big a deal. Healthcare is great, no worries there. Jail availability is still a bit low. Crime rate just went up a little bit. And I suppose elementary school availability is right on the line. I don't figure that we have an elementary school in this section of town. So to, to improve property value and to keep the schools spaced out so we don't have a, a central school district or anything like that, I'm just gonna add an elementary school to the mix. Ooh, opposite the high school? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Or there would be okay. Nah, opposite the high school is the coolest. Is it the coolest? Yeah, it's the coolest. Looking at the looking at the map, areas of effect. This is a good spot for area of effect for for this area, and also the water too. But that's okay. The students will get to look out at the ocean and say, "Cool." All right, I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Rico settle down a little bit. And we'll see what needs to be done in just a minute. In the comments of episode one, I did have some people asking about what the traffic flow was and uh, 90 to 91. Sometimes it'll hit 89. The only real sticky spot is here. And I haven't really done anything to that spot yet. So we'll see how that evolves in the future. But that's really the only problem intersection. And I'm using the term problem pretty loosely. It's it's primarily primarily because this is where the medical clinic, and the police station are. So it might make sense to actually remove one of those facilities. Or just put them somewhere else, because this is not a very good place. This is not a very good place. Like, look at the result of... Uh, <laughs> the result of the whole thing. But yeah, traffic is is doing fine. So I have this bright idea. Before we, we move any of that, I'm actually going to throw in some high-density zoning on these blocks here. So let's let's imagine kind of a waterfront district between these two parallels, right? So that's the plan. We will see how it comes out. I don't want to overzone and have traffic go haywire or anything, but I think starting with this, let's see what, what effect that has on residential. It would be nice to have pockets of high density around. Oh, something else that's fun that happened as the residential grows in. The thing filled up. This guy, um, the landfill site, concluded filling up. So now we're really going to test our recycling center and incinerator plant and see if they can handle uh, a trash wave without, <laughs> without the landfill site. Or I can always add a second incinerator. That might actually be the, the correct move. Or putting a recycling center in a more central area might not be a bad idea. I, I do feel that the recycling center is intended to be... Let's see what this says. Small amounts of raw materials. Oh, I would assume that this is better in a neighborhood, though it does produce some amount of pollution. What is it? Noise pollution and uh, uh, waste pollution, right? Pollution pollution. Ground pollution. Hmm. Pollution is 25 and noise pollution is 10. When compared to this one, pollution is 100 and noise pollution is 50. So yes, I would say the recycling center is somewhat safe in a neighborhood, which might be smart because right now we have a, a concentration of, of trash. We have a, a <laughs> whole trash situation going on. I'll think about that as the battle rages on. We'll see. We'll see if this will ever catch up. Or if people start moving out, I'll do something to address it. Now I take it back. Let's just make an incinerator. Another incinerator. It's the right thing to do. There we go. So hopefully this will all catch up and such. This had nearly no effect on the... <laughs> on the density of the... Uh, excuse me, on the residential demand. So let's actually... Let's do this. Let's make it happen. They can live right off the avenue here. It would be great. This spot would be ideal for maybe a mixed-use zoning of some sort. Oh my god, the trash. So much trash. 
will we ever recover? The trash wave is actually going to cause a medical wave if I don't do something about it. Let's hope. Let's hope that this can do something about it. And it's a small city. It certainly is. We are covered in trash. And we are putting residential on the arterials. Moving forward. We have the monorail. On a list of things that won't appear in this city, monorail is one of them. Though I respect its usage in other situations. And uh, it looks like we have also other random implements, content creator implements, and stuff for transit. So that's fine, but largely won't affect how I'm playing overall. Let's just continue on and we'll see if the if the trash wave resolves. Looks like residential is... Uh, the zoning here has done a number on the residential. With that done, let's do some low-density zoning here behind the schools. And low-density commercial along this this way here. The trash battle. Is there an answer? Probably turning this back on wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, though eventually it has to... something has to happen. The reserves are, okay, 36, 37. So they seem to be keeping up, actually. Between the two incinerators and maybe even the recycling center, things seem to be catching up. Also, traffic may jump up to the next level because of this high-density zoning. Here's hoping it fixes. And high density is complete and maybe even starting to level up. Yep, it's begun leveling up as well, certain buildings. This area deserves a park. I think that the park, uh, the park system we have over here is not affecting this. So it would be nice to have uh, some parks periodically. Maybe a huge one over here. That should have some sort of effect, right? The old, the old big park trick. Yeah, right behind the... Right behind the commercial. In between the roads. I like that. Is there space for a second one? Is it worth doing a second one? Is trash still out of control? What can we do? I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to stop this from emptying for now. And we're just going to let it start collecting again. Because I think a lot of our incinerator workload is being taken up by processing the landfill site. A second landfill site may also be necessary, though I would really prefer not to. We're trying to get away from that sooner rather than later. How has this affected traffic? Traffic is still fine. It's just this one spot. It's probably worth it to move the medical building. Let's leave the police where they are and move the medical building off of this area here. We can put it down... down here. On this corner. That works for me. Unzone that. And we'll zone this one in for commercial. They can do what they gotta do. That will uh, positively impact traffic on this little throughway here, this very popular throughway. The police station may also have to move, as it is is often causing the issues we're seeing here. Traffic lights or roundabouts will be in order eventually, too. And we're sick. Good thing we moved the medicine closer to here, because they are getting sick, and there's a good chance that we'll have a few other sicknesses in the meantime. Yep, they got sick as well. If the trash persists for too long, you get some sickness and uh, ground pollution happens, apparently. Let's continue the high-density zoning along here. Just for a little concentration. A uh, little, little development on the water. And we'll get these going as well for some low density at the same time. Very dense area overall. Very, very, extremely dense spot. So now we're going to be building a bit closer... Oh, uh, the office came in. 
eight out of eight workers, fully educated. Yeah, everything's everything is as it should be in that spot. We'll have to figure out the we'll figure out the landfill site in just a minute <laughs> as trash simmers down. Very nice. Uh, let's keep zoning up into this area while keeping an eye on the ground pollution. So this one is good for low density. This one may even be... Uh, let's see. We're right on the edge. So maybe just that corner gets to be commercial. A poor little commercial spot. That <laughs> Poor, not as in poor financially, but... All these commercial spots are going to have trouble leveling up, probably, because they're in the gross... They're in the gross industrial area. Overall, it looks really good. The road hierarchy looks pretty strong. Um, I've even got some multi-lane small roads that I could replace. If these roads are too, like, backed up, I have four-lane roads or three-lane roads that would help get some multi-lane usage, if that's necessary. I know I slapped a park over here, which is fine, but it might also be cool. Here, let's build a road around this, and maybe we'll plan a park here in the future. I think that that's going to be important to, to leveling up these buildings. Let's do this. Imagine a world where these connect. So that connects to here. And then maybe it goes... Oh, I should have kept that. 90 degrees off of this. And we should get some pretty good usage out of that. We should get some good uh, zoning in there. Also, let's make use of some paths. I've, I've been not really using paths as much as I should. So maybe there's a dirt path here. I'm actually going to turn off all of the snapping for this and just kind of just kind of eyeball it. If I can leave this zoning intact, that would be amazing. Oh, amazing. Okay. Very nice connectivity there. And then this can connect here. Excellent, excellent. The whole way around. Except for that side. Looks good to me. And maybe... Maybe here. There we go. Good functionality. And we still have... We, we have so much money. We are sixth grand up. I'm not even sure how that's possible. I'd rather not check the, the budget because there's numbers in there and I'm... Not so interested in looking at them right now. Uh, while the zoning settles down... Or, forget about the zoning settling down. Let's do... <sighs> Eventually, we're going to have to do high-density commercial. I foresee. But not yet. Let's do... <laughs> Let's do more high-density residential to really get the population going up here. This side of suburbia got developed hard. Maybe that's high density right there. High density commercial. And maybe this is too. But then this is high density residential. Bada boom. It would have been smart to do high density commercial down here as well, potentially. All right, we'll let that settle down. I'm gonna go back over here and see if we can't finish the outer the outer layer of this whole thing. Ooh, let's turn snapping back on. All right, here's what I see. What I see is that maybe this bows out at the end. Like maybe we will respect this curve. Let's just make it. Let's just make it up. <laughs> let's make it up as we go. I'm gonna turn off the road guidelines thing. Seems like from here, 
we can approximate that curve pretty well. And maybe this one comes down. And then it flares out a little bit using freeform road tool. Aiming towards that that corner there. We're very far from the edge here though. Let's let's actually angle this one. It'll make it a little more interesting as well, just like we did on the other side with some not crazy angles, but some appropriate angles. Yes. Better land usage going up to the water. And then these probably connect using road guidelines. That's good, though we may have to figure out something. Something probably happens out here. I don't know what that is yet, but something probably happens there. This might happen. That could be a thing. Or better yet, here, I'm going to go through it. Little anarchy there, but I'm going to go through it, and that will actually be the end point of this, of this road, which might change the curve in a good way. I like that a lot. Assuming that this road stays, it's kind of crazy, but assuming that that's still a thing, this might be a move. Sixteen units, twenty-one. Um, let's go like five units up here, and then we'll do the curve because I think it'll look a bit nicer. Yep, very similar on both sides. I like that. Cool. Good stuff. I'm not sure what the future holds for this area. This could easily become a park. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So this, to support right-hand turns, or if people want to use this angle, I'm not actually going to allow them to use that angle. What I'm going to do is add something else, a different way for them to turn. Maybe just there. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. So if somebody actually wanted to use this and go right and turn around, they could rather than having to go to this point at the end. You can also get a good result there from node controller too. Ooh. That's going to cause problems. Uh, let's, let's forego that for now. But this road can continue on. Oh yeah, how have things settled down? Is the trash or is the trash done yet? So now that that's doing, can I empty this one? Is that possible? 24, 26, okay. These have settled down. I'm gonna run it at three speed and see if that aggravates the trash problem while I think about this, this road layout. I'm just gonna think about it for a little bit. I think the trash problem is solved for now. My solution is to kind of bury a recycling center in with some commercial and hopefully keep it just far away enough from the residential that there's not too much of a medical issue and really keep the heavy pollution relegated to, to the necessary areas. And that's fine. I've also done away with the little road there because I have another idea. Oh, and I replaced all these with the suburban road which I think will prove useful moving forward. We also have tons of money. Money just became nearly irrelevant by my estimate. 14 units. Let's do 14 units here as well. That'll be cool. Just to match what we did on this side, roughly. Yeah, it's fine. So this is the point. Oh, okay. Coincidentally, I, I would have come to that conclusion anyway because that's where that hits. So cool so that we can pass the recycling center. But to do you one better, instead of the little triangle that I was gonna try to make there, let's actually do this instead. We'll actually 90 this off of this road. I wonder if it's that spot precisely. No way, no it's not, okay. Let's eyeball it. It's gonna break the grid because we're not using a Pythagorean triple, but some grids are meant to be broken. That's totally fine. 
I said it before, I'll say it again, I want to get used to breaking the grid. Because once you zone it in, like, it looks good anyway, even if the grid is broken and it's not perfect. It all, it all still looks great. In my opinion. Now this makes me wonder... This is going to continue across. I already know that with some degree of certainty. Once again, get ready for the grid and broken. But that's okay. We like that now. Doesn't stress me out at all. So this area now has a new shape and possibly a new lease on life. I was thinking about high density commercial and I wonder if this isn't the perfect like central area that has really great connectivity from multiple directions all converging here. Like that might be the way to go. Maybe a leisure area? I'm not 100% on the leisure area, but but maybe, 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 maybe. Trash is still holding up. This building is also emptying right now, so that's part of the reason why trash was a concern at all. Once this is done, I'm going to delete it, and it'll take a lot of the workload off the incinerators, which are full and nearly full, respectively. Our original recycling area is is always, pretty much always full. This one is also full, but they're keeping up with demand thus far, except for you. That's okay. But yeah, I figure this area would make a lot of sense as a, a higher density commercial area in the city. So maybe, let's actually bring a road in here. Yeah. Sorry about your buildings, but we're, we're coming in. We're coming in regardless. Coming in hot. So this will open the spot up for some more density. Or for some, some dense zoning, rather. Uh, we'll just go to there. Now let's see what kind of problems this causes. Embrace the problems. Don't assume that the problems are problems. The, the problem... The game is a problem. It's fun, though. I'm not wrong. That's why we're here, isn't it? I might be wrong about this not causing problems. This looks like it's going to be riddled with problems, but it'll be nice to have a, a central commercial area that's within walking distance of essentially the whole island. So that's, that's how I'm going to get away with this. We'll have low density throughout, and then high density pockets and... Uh, Ideally to keep the noise pollution down because this is going to be a, a noise pollution center. I just don't want it to get this bad. That's all. Cool. That looks good to me. Let's, uh, let's keep extending our road network. As you do. Do I dare? I think I do. I think, I think I dare in this situation. So I'm going to go to here. I just want to be totally sure. There it is. Gorgeous. Really great connectivity to get up into this area without forcing people through these more central spots. Like, the more options they have to get where they're going, the better, as long as you can keep road hierarchy in, in your thoughts and prayers while you're doing it. This possibly goes to the end. This might go to the end, or maybe just to here. That seems good. And then this goes to the end. Yes. I feel it. I feel that. That's good. This island is almost done. This uh, this thing may even finish this episode. I'm not sure. I can dream, right? May I? Ooh, to the end. To the end with you. To the ends of the earth. Break the grid. Destroy the grid. How far did I go? 11. So 11 units here. It does not need to be this perfect, but... Also, the, the perfect ship has, has sailed at this point. There's no... Perfect is no longer really a thing in any substantial way. But isn't that what makes it nice? I think that... Like, the, the perfect in me... There's no perfect in me, but the, but the theoretical perfection wants this road to be straight and then have a bunch of rigid 90 degree things off of it. And, like, that doesn't feel like a real place to me, generally. Well, I live in the U.S., so it should feel like a real place, but it 
it kind of doesn't at the same time. Like there's usually old roads involved that would that would break up that that perfection. Ooh, speaking of breaking it up, let's make it so this isn't such a large block. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, yes. When you feel it, you feel it, and you just kind of know. This one may be slightly more complex than the others. Let's just zone in and see how that affects things. Uh, maybe these are actually high-density zoning back here. So we'll get some high-density in next to this high-density commercial... Because that makes that makes more sense to me. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, low density, more low density up here. Actually, let's check our pol the pollutionometer. Nice. This whole thing could probably be low density. So maybe we'll add our our buffer there, and then we'll just get this get the show on the road here and also over here. The fill tool would make more sense, but that's okay. We're making it happen regardless. And I think this area will just look better. Like it'll look more complete with the a few more buildings in it. We'll let that let that slide. Ah, we may not want the fire department here forever. I've not seen many fires. I don't know if I have anything influencing the fires. Oh, trash. My nemesis is the trash system. It's it's like fine. It's okay. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. I hope we'll get it. Putting a recycling center somewhere else would be smart. Like take this recycling center and put it down down a bit so that we have the incinerators in one area. Even even this place is having trash problems. This is almost done emptying, by the way. So I think once this is done emptying, like truly, I could delete it with move it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to attempt to play this square, fair and square, as best as I can. But I could delete it with move it. Let the record show. I'm not I'm not unaware of this. Let's, um, hmm. Let's do this and then residential along here. If I've made a mistake, we'll know because everyone will get will get sick. But that's how you know. That's how you learn. I haven't made any decisions regarding this road. It probably continues along. And we also probably need more... Industrial, I suppose. So let's look into this. I'm going to check our, our education situation. Time to contemplate what jobs are appropriate for this area. This one may just go 90 to the end, 90 to the end, just to finish those roads off. These are probably blocks in here, so maybe there's one right behind what's allowed on this building, and maybe even a horizontal one there. I sense that this could be industrial. Looks good to me. My stomach is literally growling right now. It's the price. The price one must pay for city planning. My breakfast was a couple hours ago. <laughs> the trash battle rages on. And it is a trash battle, let me tell you. Oh, I forgot a segment of uh, road. Suburban street, please. It just looks so much better. Like this is what this is what a neighborhood looks like more so. There's generally not lines painted on the ground or crosswalks or anything. It all looks good except for the trash battle, but that's okay. So let's check our what might be done about education and employment. Another elementary school would probably be good. Or a library. Yeah, another library for this area would be would be great. That would actually serve us very well. So let's add a library just for fun. And it'll also help level some of these buildings up, probably. Uh, 
let's see, just across from, not too close to that one, but also not too far away, in a spot that will cover this area nicely. There. That is the spot. Nice. Okay. So more residential is in order. I'll do high density for this block. And then low density over here. And over here. Something interesting could go here. I don't know what that is yet, exactly. But yeah, a bit of a high density center here. This might end up high density too. Or down here would certainly be a good candidate. That's kind of been my plan from the beginning is to, to draw a circle of high density in this area, if nowhere else. Trash battle. 3%. I'm all too ready to, to get rid of that building in about a second. I think if I understand the trash system well, my problem may be solved at that point. There's a chance. There's a chance. Let's fill in that. 1%. I cannot wait. I sense that this is putting undue stress on our incinerators, which we have two of them. There we go. Done. Sorry about your jobs, but it's it's over. Let's throw in a commercial area there. Why not? You can there can be commercial in industry. It happens. It's fine. Now the big question is is trash going to simmer down as as uh <laughs> as as expected we'll find out in just a moment this is looking really good i like what i'm seeing the trash issue seems to be largely resolved okay you're a little little sicky poo over there but that's okay that's that's how it that's how it goes sometimes so trash is looking good though i think that we've really not done our job on on other yeah okay so let's look at some essential services that the city is is really not receiving sometimes i definitely think that this area deserves a fire department and i think that this spot would be really great somewhere in here where it has great connectivity to all the different spots is this do i have collision turned off no i have anarchy turned on though I think that this spot would be really good for a fire department. Somewhere in here, somewhere central. Oh, geez. It's killing the trees. The recycling center is killing the trees. I forgot about that. It, it looks, I could argue it looks like autumn. It looks autumnish. <laughs> Kinda. But yeah, let's, let's do a, uh, let's do it right along here. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm not sure why they're not deleting automatically. I'm sure there's some silly little mod turned on or something like that. But yeah, that will be a good spot that will provide, yep, good fire connectivity to the, we'll say the bottom half of the island, or the peninsula. Okay, fire will probably recover. Health, we really don't have that much need for health care, but it might be nice if this one is designed to cover this area more so. Maybe another health facility, because our budget is so, is, we have so much income right now. We have $10,000 extra, not 10, oh, nearly 10,000. So yeah, let's do a hospital for, th for this district over here more so. I really don't think we're going to need the large one either. I think we'll be able to use the, the small one and get a lot done with it. Ah, I, I wish the placement of this one was better, maybe. This one's gonna go here. My logic is, or no, 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 it's gonna go here, actually. And hopefully that zoning stays good. So my logic is, if, it, if the health facility is here, that gives it very good access to the entire bottom of the island, because this street goes the entire, this entire area is covered by that street, so it gives them connectivity. Uh, they can get here pretty easily as well. Actually, with that said, this road goes for longer. So let's do that. Change of plans. Another change of plans. Just logicking this out. 
this road will probably go the entire vertical length of the whole thing. And also this area has massive health demands because of the uh, facility there. It really, I should get rid of those two and do commercial instead. So low density, oh, uh, yeah, low density commercial instead for there. Maybe even one more house. There we go, just to keep it away from the recycling center. So this road is premium real estate for this guy. It's not free real estate, but it is premium real estate. There we go. So now, what I said can be even more true. The medical clinic can now dispatch vehicles all the way up to here without having to make a turn. And this road may continue to the bottom here. If we want it to, it totally can. Uh, let's check police before I move on. Let's check all the essential services. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but but also, let's add a second police station. It, we're doing fine in a sense, but but some of the, the further communities are having a harder time being reached by the, by the PD. So same logic. Let's actually use this same side street here. Or we could, uh, could put it back to back. That might be smarter. Let's put it back to back with the fire department. And a little, little commercial here. Little house meet little commercial. Are those all the necessary services? Um, traffic is starting to become a, a bigger concern, 89%. I, I took the liberty of making these right turn only, which will force traffic to go to use different routes to get where they're going. But using Traffic Manager, you can use the lane arrows function to make these right turn only. Most of the traffic from this side is turning right anyway. But other things that we could do to further reduce traffic might be things like using paths. So for instance, this spot here might be, it might be clever to use a path. Cool, that'll eliminate that zoning, but that's all right. So now they have a direct route out of here without having to drive. Similarly, this would be quite sensible. Where else might paths benefit us? Pretty much all over. I, I just don't want to destroy too, too many houses. It's just adding that little extra bit of accessibility. Like here, this whole area is, is locked in by roads. So it would certainly be a good move to do this, and maybe we'll just get rid of those small businesses on the corner and let that be okay. Or maybe a, low, a small low-density building, a partner to the little, little commercial here. Now where else? Any other locked-in areas that would benefit from a path? Many. Yeah, down here. <laughs> So, so many. If you have traffic problems and you haven't done an audit for areas that would be sensible for paths, then you've uh, missed an opportunity, I would, I would have to argue. So this will let everyone out at the end of this cul-de-sac here, essentially. Another one here would be really good. What does the least damage? Ooh, here. That's not bad. So now there's ways in and out here. This would also be quite a good connection here. Sorry about your houses. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Cool. Any other egregious examples of lack of walkability? This one we solved right away. Looks kind of messy, but that's okay. Once again, I want to get used to some areas being messy because city planning can be can be messy. Retrofitting an area doesn't always uh, go the way you'd intend. So let's see, did we get all the essentials? Let's let's double check here. Trash should be doing much better than it was. Trash is doing great. Putting the recycling center down here was a good move also. Let's, let's do this. I think it would actually be really smart to put this up here in the corner. They're not going to love it, necessarily. The, the folk that live in this little spot are not going to really appreciate it, but... Let's put it right at the end of this road here. 
please delete the build. Or is this anarchy that's causing this? It is. Okay. Anarchy is now turned off. We'll delete exactly two houses and put that up there. And that should spread the demand, the, um, the presence of trash vehicles a bit more evenly throughout the city. They're going to hate that, but also you also live on the highway, so deal with it. But yeah, that looks really good. We've solved a lot of service issues that we had previously. Death care? Yeah, that's fine. Fire is, is pretty good. I don't think we have... The hazard is high, but I don't really sense that the that anything's going too wrong fire-wise. And police is perfect right now. We have two well-established districts and uh, good connectivity all around. Very nice. The next step is going to be continuing expanding and filling in residential, I suppose. Do you remember the trick from the first episode where we took Bob and used it to replace the trees? I'm going to do it again for our avenue. So let's take the tree two variant and we're going to swap it for the for the little Linden. Where are you? Young Linden. Oh, yeah. Apply and save changes. Beautiful. So now this avenue has a bit of continuity with the type of tree that's planted in the suburban area, too, in the suburban, uh, using suburban roads. Good. So that looks better all around. That looks way, way better. And that tree is vanilla, so please make use of it. It's good to do. I'm suppose... I'm about to suppose that this would be good for high density. So let's... Let's fill these in. That should all be fine. This would also be great for high density. But really, this whole area probably needs a park. Some sort of park would not would not be a bad move. Maybe this corner is going to be a park. No, it should be somewhere more central. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> How big is the dog park? Dog park is pretty big, right? Not really. Large playground. As if we haven't put enough large playgrounds in the scenario. A large playground behind the library would be really cool. Good coverage. And maybe... No... The small park can oppose that. Yeah, we'll just use that block as a as a bit of park. Just to break up the monotony of the whole thing. And as those houses grow in, let's also establish what might happen with this. I don't love that. Personally, whatever that is, I'm not into it. So in the interest of limiting connections on this outer road, let's do this instead. Let's look at this. Let's find the middle. Okay, we gotta draw pipes. We gotta draw pipes, everyone. <laughs> I'm a pipe hater, apparently. This is really good, but it would be even better with some walkability in mind. So let's do that. Oh, that's what I get for turning anarchy off. The game is very picky when it comes to things. That looks good to me. So let's draw in a bit more of the residential that we're gonna use. Bada boom. Plenty of residential here, lots of residential, but a severe lack of water. Let's put it on one speed while I... Oh, yeah. Yep, functional pipes. Look, it's below the road. 22 units, and then across. Huzzah. I will be expecting this series. I will be forgetting pipes all the time. That's just how I... That's just where I live mentally. I'm not there. I'm not there drawing pipes. I want to build. Cool. The city seems to be healthy as well. It seems to be okay. I think that this might just be a bit of a bubble in our education. So it's well employed, but there's not quite enough well educated. I wonder if it might be smart to, to turn on a policy that will... Um, ooh, that looks kind of good. Uh, there's a policy that would allow us to make more kids go to school. So, like, school's out. Excuse me, the other one. The opposite of that. Education boost. Let's see, what, what does that cause? Boost the education budget. Make young adults automatically choose education over working. The effect that that would have is it would boost our number of well-educated and highly-educated 
people, because right now the uneducated populace is overwhelming. We do have the demand for, excuse me, we do have the, our facilities can handle it. And I don't think, what was the downside? Education costs more. We have so much money. It's actually crazy. Increase education budget by 25%. So let's go education boost. And this will actually probably alter the, uh, the Rico of the city. I bet that industrial demand will go down a little bit. These buildings should be employing educated folk as well. Yeah, leaning towards educated. So the, the majority of our educated workforce is not in offices because there's only one office in the entire city right now, which is right here. That is our only office. It did level up though. 17 workers. It is healthy and working correctly. Another bit of offices might make sense on the triangle here, perhaps which will be central to the, the high density ring that is beginning to form. That wasn't my plan originally, but it's becoming my plan pretty quickly here. So let's throw in a, let's undo this guy and we'll do another square of office here on the corner. Oh no, it's not a perfect square. Get over it, get over it, I have to get over it. We'll do two imperfect little squares. They're perfect in their own way. Spectacular, love it. Now this is gonna be low density. The park space, I'm gonna leave as park space. And I'm gonna leave the game on three speed while this all while this all occurs. Beautiful. Looking sharp, looking sharp. So commercial is going to be the next big trouble spot, but there are still a few places that that we can use commercial at, I'm sure. Maybe we will do our commercial buffer along the way here. Oh, I never actually zoned in the industrial that I spoke of. These are going to be industrial right now. I know we've just changed it to uh, emphasis on education, but we are going to have to complete this industrial area, I suppose. But now, maybe that's the border of the whole thing. Maybe that's as bad as it gets. Later in the game, you can certainly switch from a focus on industry to a to more of a focus on office, an office-based uh, economy, office-based workforce instead. Cool. So that gives us a little spot where low-density commercial might make sense. Nice. And also along here, because that's the incinerator, and also along here. And maybe we'll try to keep that as our industrial area for this little spot. Water? Did someone say water? Ooh. I knew I forgot something. Excellent. So that should conclude the water pipes. This whole area is now covered. The goal will eventually be to get rid of these also. But that is looking really good. It's still a strong demand for residential, an incredible residential demand going on here. I really want to know, I've been curious for a while now, where is this road gonna, gonna terminate? Certainly not there. That would be a little too wild for me. Oh, maybe this, yes, and then, no, <laughs> hmm, I don't usually do that, but that's kind of okay at the end of a, if it's the end of a situation, I wouldn't do that if there were a bridge here, that would make no sense. So we can respect the rock. Let's go 13 units up. The rock is about to become a park as well. 14 units even, 14. Ooh, is it gonna connect here? No, that's crazy. Too crazy for me. The next one up will connect though, I bet. Hello, Nevada.
I see this one being viable. That looks viable to me. What's next? Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's better overall. This is a little hectic as far as intersections go, but certainly in its current configuration, this road is not overemphasized. If I build a bridge across this bay here, then it will be... Uh, it'll be used a little bit more effectively. This is certainly going to be a bridge. This one is also a bridge. But great connectivity all around. This, this uh, arterial triangle is going to come in really handy. Let's start doing high-density zoning for this area here and growing the population. Or at least this area here. Let's, let's just do this. High-density zoning for these two. High-density commercial here. I don't know that I love the one-by-one -one buildings, but I'm just going to make it happen regardless. This is about to become a path, I think. Rather than connect it with a road, which might not make too much sense here, we will connect it with a path. So 90 off of that goes right to the end. Very good. Now this path might even unify entire areas here. Yep. Uh-huh. Yes. Agreed. Along there. It'd be something of a makeshift park by the end, I, I foresee. Yeah. Very good. Uh, the one excluded piece is probably this corner. The question I have to ask is, do we need all of this, all of these zoning squares? And the answer is quite probably no. That'll be a good unique use of space. The rock, I'm actually gonna use move it and just kinda put the rock here. Dwayne, may I call you Dwayne? In such a way that it's not gonna interrupt too many zoning squares. Now to get these back, if you use move it, you just have to upgrade the road. Oop, I've deleted, I've deleted a path. But we got the zoning squares back. Hmm. Now that I see this, maybe this would be the smarter. Yeah, that's better. That angle is better. Basically, the path is just going behind all of the buildings, except for here. I've kind of broken that trend. Should I continue the trend? No, we'll we'll let we'll let these paths speak for themselves. They're doing wonderfully. We should be able to finish zoning this area at the very least, at the very least. So let's look into low density commercial along here and along here. Except for you, not you. High density residential here. Got a low density sandwich going on here. And I'm gonna put it on three speed. Oh geez. Well, I'm not giving them any more. I'm not gonna give them any any more industrial than they already have. They're kind of on their own. Big city, 12,000. Excellent, excellent. We can we have some uh, visiting scholars, some new policies, some new paths for the different type of college campus. The crematorium is unlocked officially, that exists. Let's throw in a crematorium, actually. That's a good move. And some other fun stuff down at the bottom. Large water tower. So on and so forth. Uh, this can be low-density commercial, as I've, I've vowed not to add any more industry than what we already have. And in fact, we're going to seal away the last of the... the last of the industry there. That'll be the end of the... this industry area. The borders marked by commercial. Maybe even here. Uh... This one can be residential, which we need. So maybe that'll come in handy. 
What did I say? Oh, crematorium. Crematorium. Yes. Do, 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 do. I might leave the rock. I'm just going to leave the rock. That's all I can say. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. Our death care is actually really, really great. So full story, true story. I already have the crematorium placed prematurely and the university placed prematurely. I didn't realize I was doing it when I was doing it, but find it, the mod find it, which is a search bar for all of your assets, actually has an option in the settings that unlocks extra things. So I was placing extra things without really knowing it in the first episode. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna negate what I've done here. I think this is I think this is good regardless of uh, <laughs> premature unlockings. Maybe we'll add one more health uh, one more death care building down here at the bottom of the the situation. Where's the best spot? Uh, corners looking strong. They love that. That's good. Good coverage. Let's uh, finish the zoning and we'll call it a day. I think I've just had a much better idea than zoning this in. This is looking like some good green space here, except for the road that we spent so long adding. So let's get rid of that road. We're keeping the rock. The rock is there to stay. Dwayne, respect Dwayne, everyone. Much respect. I might even uh, move the rock to the center of this. Or can I put it back where it was? Hold on. That's where it was originally. So we've moved it back. I've reverted all the, <laughs> anything we did with move it has been undone now. So let's take this guy and get it out of here. Our crematorium can exist anywhere else, truly anywhere, uh, anywhere that makes sense. I do still want it to be down in this area. What type of building is that? Is that a business? I think that's a business. I'm about to eliminate this business in favor of Yep, in favor of the old... Oh, what did I just destroy? Oh no! Was that not a business? Oh no! <laughs> was that our... I think it was. I think that was the uh, healthcare facility. No, it wasn't. Was it the police station then? It totally was. Yep, that was, that was the location of the police station. Okay. Okay, lesson learned. Can they both fit? Oh, because the fire department was right there. Yeah. Let's put the police station here, then. And we'll get rid of that business. And I'm going to undo this zoning, just so we don't get a single thing there. Nice. I think that'll work out fine. So anyway, this is a park. A park with green space. The paths... Let's undo the paths. I want to hear in the comments, do you want me to paint this in as a, as a real park? Because we can make it into a to a park life park, if you'd like. But right now I'm just gonna sketch in some some sketchy things. I'm gonna turn road guidelines back on. And we're just gonna go right across the center. Nice. This one can kinda do what it was doing before, so we'll section this off as a cut through there. So they are cutting through. I'll add a little tail on so that it connects. I'll leave this one out of the loop. People can go around that if they want. Uh, this one, let's go right past the rock, the great rock, Dwayne. That's good. And then maybe a way to get from the corner to the center, perhaps? Past the rock? Can we can we pull this off? Yes. Yes, we can. And this one will cut straight across as well. Kind of linking all of the desire paths at the middle. That looks good to me. That leaves enough green space to be uh, used for whatever. Kicking the ball around, what have you. Uh, just a couple trees, and this is done. So let's do it. Of course, I'm going to dig into the content creator pack trees. Uh, young Linden coming in clutch. There's a there's a wrap in there somewhere. I'll let you I'll let you decide. Feel free to wrap in the comments. Never mind, I take it back. Don't wrap in the comments. <laughs> I, w 
I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see. Put some gnarly trees over by the over by the rocks here. The gnarly live oak action. I still want for there to be space for soccer and whatnot around here, but but yeah, gnarly trees. Some more regular trees by the park entrances. Another tree or two here. Looks pretty good. Maybe a couple picnic tables might be in order. Ooh, Young Linden. Now it's time for Young Linden. Young Linden, do your work. Do that thing you do. good. Bit of a dynamic experience here with some trees. Looking good. I still don't want to eliminate green space. That's not part of the goal here. I just want for there to be a nice park right when people cross this bridge, and it'll also be nice to not have buildings here because then they won't be stopping traffic to drop off goods. All nice ideas. I do have a mod called Prop Line Tool. I'm gonna to forgo the use of it for this. I'm just gonna go wild. Making it happen. Happening, happening, happening. Cool. Probably running the risk of overdoing it. But overall, I think that looks fantastic. Is it worth painting in a quick district? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Come on. Come on, me. You know you want to, and I do. With the way that I normally play, I usually only build parks for like visual expression. Rarely do I actually paint in a park life district, so this has been, this is a first in a while. If you have a good name for this park, feel free to let me know. Once again, in the comments, let me know. Also, feel free to join the Discord if you want a direct line of communication. I'm in there. Cool. I'm not seeing a district name, unfortunately. I might have that deactivated in the mods. Is that possible? Okay, I i don't know what it is then. But either way, oh, you know what? We need a park entrance. That's what it actually is. I might have put the, put the cart before the horse here. Parks. I suppose I want this to be a city park, I believe it's called. City park, yes. So city park, main park gate. C can I do a small, yeah, small main park. Uh, no, full size is good actually. Full size, right in a reasonable place. And I'm not really doing this for money. I, I really don't care about the money part. I'm, I'm just trying to make something nice. Let's see what we can get away with here. So I'll throw that there and then reset it because I've, uh, let's see, reset object and also go to terrain height because it's kind of sunk. Looking okay. Let me get rid of the trees. Those trees are fine. And I suppose we're going to replace these with the park life path, which is a nice looking path. So let's, let's just do it. Very nice. If we replace all of these, what's going to happen? This one, I'm probably going to have to do a an entrance over there. Which is totally reasonable. It's not about the money, but you don't make money unless the Sims pass through the park entrances. Oh, don't destroy the rock. Not Dwayne. Nice. 
Ah, I wish I wish that this looked a little nicer. We're kind of on a hillside. What I may have to do is bury the whole thing in trees to, to make it. Or uh, I take it back. Let's just do this. See if we can smooth it out. <laughs> Undo. Undo. That's fine. Take two. Here, we'll do it here. We'll do it live. <laughs> I I made a hole. I made a hole to the dark place, is what I did. Alright. Let's try to put in some... Park entrances. <laughs> some side entrances, rather. So, park side gate is what we want here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I should be able to line these up using the trees that I put down, actually. So, side entrance. This one's going to be very easy. This one will be slightly less easy, but only slightly. This one should be... Hmm. Let's do this. Let's have it... Let's have it hang to the side a little bit, and then I'll just redraw the paths there. And this one is not going to want to go diagonally, but I might use move it to make it go diagonally. Now, reconnecting them... Park life path. Easy. This one. Distance too short. Can I curve it? Can I move this? Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to use move it to move these trees over because they don't really make sense right now anyway. I'm going to move this over by one. And now let's see if we can curve this in a way that makes sense. Road guidelines on. Just a couple units there, so maybe to there, and then let's see if a curve will work. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's not life-changing or anything, but it looks much better than it did. I like that. That works. Uh, this one... See if we can make these end at about the same spot that they used to. Now we can delete these. Bada boom. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> that works. And that's kind of what we had before anyway. I just had this little extra connecting piece that existed for the sole pur purpose of doing what that does. So that's fine. And then this one, I would really love if it was in essentially the same spot that, that it used to be. So let's approximate the angle. Really does not need to be perfect, but it's going to be better than it is. It's going to be better than it was, at least. Cool. Get our path. Bada boom, 180 degrees. Welcome to Autumn Garden. Name is subject to change, but Autumn Garden is... Uh, is is a fine beginning of the whole thing. Um, the the only thing, other than all the obvious, oh geez, are we out of power? Oh, these are not close enough to buildings to have power. That's what it is. Well, I'll figure that out in due time. In due time. I did not foresee this as a problem. Oh no, I've forgotten one of the things. Well, whatever, that's another problem to fix. That is all I'm gonna do for today. City looks great. Other than the power problem that I've just created, traffic is mounting. As, especially once this area grows in, I think traffic is going to be a problem. So next time, next episode, I think that we're going to have to tackle the traffic problem and, and figure out some solutions for this central block here and see what happens. But that is going to do it for today. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for, for uh, hanging out in Benton and seeing how the progress is going. We're almost done with the starting peninsula, the starting tile, and soon we'll be moving on to these other areas. One, two, three, four. They will be the, the first new areas as we go. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Feel free to join the Discord as well. Got a strong community over there. Uh, also, feel free to follow on Twitch. I try to stream twice a week. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Yumble. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.